Welcome to this quick demonstration of exporting results so they get stored on our server. And the reason why you may want to do that is because you may be entering forms, filling out forms on multiple devices and you want to see all your results in one place. So this is the way you can do that. Um, so I've set up a quick uh, test form here called test1. Um, this is design mode and as you can see all we've got is a name and an occupation. So if I run this and um, enter a name, choose an occupation, a little tick, and then I'll put in another one, hit the tick. That's created two results, and if I go to the results screen, I can see these results. And uh, what I'd like to do now is to export them to the web so they get held centrally on our server. So I can then have a look at them from a browser, and you can use any browser, um, on the web. So this is the button I use. Now I haven't set this uh, anything up yet um, for this, so it, first of all it warns me, or gives me um, a little dialogue here, that says I need to set up the web group. So you may have set up a web group already if you've been exporting forms and importing forms, but I haven't on this device, so it's allowing me uh, an opportunity here to set up the web group. So when I click on this, it'll take me out of the results, take me back to the main screen, the front screen, and and it's actually done a simulation of pressing this button here uh, so I can set up the web group. And I've got to put in um, a name for my group, so this is something that is for me and that identifies me on, our, on, the, on the server. An email address, so I'll just uh, put in any old address here, obviously that needs to be a real address in the real world. And a password, and um, again this can be anything obviously. And uh, I'll just create a test one here. So there we are, that's my web group set up. When I do that, it says I have to go and review the terms and conditions. That's the terms and conditions, read through this. Uh, what we ask is, we don't ask um, for payment for using our server, but we do ask that you, um, you first of all put a review on the App Store. And we will check that and email you um, and remove uh, your web group if you don't set up a review. So um, you need to do that. So if you've done that then that's fine. Read through this, make sure you're happy. So there we go, that's the web group set up and it's asking me now to accept the conditions and it's now added that group to the web. So that's fine. So now when I go back in and have a look at the results, these are my two results again, if I click export to web, you'll see these two buttons here become greyed because they're now on the web um, and I can actually have a look at those results on the web using this button here. So that's the uh, that's the results. As you can see it's in CSV format which is comma separated variable which is very useful when you um, when you want to uh, import this data into a spreadsheet because CSV is compatible with with any spreadsheet really. So that's our results. Um, there we are. So it's as simple as that. Um, and this, as I say, it's very good if you want to consolidate the information from several uh, different devices into a single place. And you can use, um, you can see these results using any browser on the internet. That's the URL you would use. That's what you would type into the uh, the web bar uh, in order to find these results. Uh, obviously, you would need to provide the group name and the password. Um, so that's uh, that's uh, setting it up so that the results get sent to uh, to a central server. One slight variation on this is we can also say that as the results are entered, so on submit, that's what that means. As the results are entered, they get sent to the web immediately, rather than having to go to the results screen. And this is quite useful if you want to set up your form so it just runs on a machine somewhere. Um, people come along, enter their information, press a submit button and, um, and it automatically gets sent to the web and you can then monitor the web results from another machine somewhere and you can see the results coming in throughout the day and that's, that's quite uh, handy. So if we put in one here and say Harry is a nurse, it says uploading to web and then comes back to this screen again 
for the next person to come in and enter their data. Now, if I go and have a look on the results here, you'll see that this is greyed out for Harry. That's what I've just entered because it automatically, when they submitted that form, it automatically sent it to the web. So that's a very good way of setting up an independent device that users can come along and use and you can monitor the results as they come in from a separate device. It could be a Mac, it could be a PC, just uh, using a web browser. So there we are, that's um, sending results to the web uh, using Formaker.